Let's talk about six ways to make your home feel more comfortable and more polished. First one is going to be incorporate soft lighting. So think of this as like your favorite place to go on date night. Do you like to go to a place that has a good ambiance? I'm guessing you do. And that's because the lighting is probably playing into that. So it is no different with your home. You want to incorporate soft lighting and you can do this by doing a lot of lamps in the areas that you tend to gather or you want to create those warm spaces and you can add warm bulbs to those and it will create that. You know, a lot of us have the inset lighting in our house and I hate that. Like we have to have it, but it just, it's like a bright light and you're just, it's a spotlight everywhere. So. I love at nighttime to always have those off and have lamps on and it just creates a very cozy feel and just a very warm feel. And you can put lamps anywhere. I have them in the kitchen, the bathrooms, your bedrooms. They're great for creating that kind of space as well as candles. Um, and you can even put a dimmer on your lights too to just kind of take them down a notch. Another thing that you can do to help your home feel more comfortable and polished is going to be declutter regularly. And so um, you just have to do it. I know it's so hard. It's like you either made that way or you're not, but you wanna declutter because a cluttered house just creates chaos in your head and it's stressful. And so, especially if you work from home, like I don't even know how you do that because when I get up in the morning and get my day started, everything kind of has to be in its place for me to get going. So you wanna declutter regularly and if you're not using it, toss it. Another thing that you can do is just be very mindful on how you display basically pictures and personal keepsakes. So we just don't wanna have, you know, them just all over the place. I think you need to, you know, narrow them down to like a wall or a bookshelf. Just be very thoughtful on where you put them. And we love pictures. We love to have those in our home, but just kind of put them in a, you know, certain area, be thoughtful about it. And I think you will enjoy that more. Another thing is just incorporating pops of color. So if you can go with more of like a neutral, tone as the base in your house. You can always come in with pops of colors in your throw pillows or your artwork. And you know, those colors, I would say, need to be something that you like or enjoy or make you feel happy. Cause you can think of colors right now that you just hate and you should not put those in your house. You should do ones that make you feel good and do a little bit of it. And then the great thing about that is you can always change that out if you're you know, your main base is very neutral, all right? Another thing that you can do is going to be invest in quality bedding. So we all know that a higher thread counts just make it better. You know, your room, you spend a lot of time in there. So you wanna have higher thread count, you wanna have a duvet, you wanna have a comfortable bed, and you want to make your bed. You guys, that's actually one characteristic of a millionaire is that they make their beds every day. So you can start doing that and see where that takes you. That's your fun tip for the day. But you want that area to be cozy and inviting and your bedding plays a very big role in that. And then another way that you can get your home feeling so comfortable is going to be keeping your exterior polished. Let's not forget about the outside. Yes, we live on the inside, but everyone's first impression is gonna be the outside. So making sure that your porch is clear, your seating is good. You know, you can throw some potted plants out there. You just want it to be clean. And you know, I love a good black mulch whenever you're trying to clean out your flower beds and just making it have a cohesive look, just making it feel put together. So just cleaning up those porches, adding some potted plants and a nice little rug, even maybe a wreath for your door, but just making it welcoming and inviting and a place that people want to be. 